if you really want to see how the jig is up, this was the first video that I, I saw this morning. This is so incredible that you just got to get, get comfortable in your seat. Everybody just kind of like chill out for a moment. This is so absolutely wonderful. This is video from yesterday. AOC did a town hall in the Bronx in her home district. And you'll see basically nobody showed up and the few people that did were not having it with her nonsense. Congresswoman, none of this matters unless there's a nuclear war, which you voted to send arms and weapons to Ukraine. Tulsi Gabbard, she's left the Democratic Party because there are a bunch of war hawks, okay? You originally voted, you ran as an outsider, yet you've been voting to start this war in Ukraine. You're voting to start a third nuclear war with Russia and China. Why are you playing with the lives of American citizens? You're playing with our lives. There will be no neighbors if there's a nuclear bomb. You voted to mobilize and send money to Ukrainian Nazis. You're a coward. You're a progressive socialist. Where are you against the war mobilization? He's telling the right truth. You have done nothing. Tulsi Gabbard has shown guts where you've shown cowardice. I believed in you, and you became the very thing you sought to fight against. That's what you've become. You are the establishment and you are the reason why everybody will end up in a nuclear war unless you choose to stand up right now and denounce the Democratic Party. Will you do that? Yes or no? Today is a great day. I mean, that is so beautiful. Now, first, let me address a couple of things. Uh, I don't know, maybe 30 people in there, right? So nobody in her own district is listening to her anymore. The squad, and I've been trying to explain this from the beginning, the squad was a corporate idea and a big tech idea. The average person doesn't want their kid's genitals chopped off. The average kid doesn't want their child, uh, the average adult doesn't want their kid dying in Ukraine and all of the other equity-based nonsense and all of the drivel the, and, and the hatred of America and all that stuff that AOC and Omar and Tlaib have put out there. So they don't really have support. Yes, she has won two elections. I, I give her credit for that in a very small district. She won these two elections. So it's not like there's literally nobody, but it certainly is not as big as the machine would have you believe. Put her on every cover of everything and constantly put her on the Sunday news shows and everything else. The young people that are yelling at her there are quite right. I thought the progressives, weren't the progressives supposed to be nice and anti-war? Why would we be giving all this money and weapons, and again, we haven't declared war, to the Ukrainians when we're not exactly sure who they are and there are some Nazi elements there and it's all very strange and suddenly the more that this keeps going on, the more that we're suddenly talking about nuclear war and World War III. I thought the progressives were supposed to be out there screaming uh, against war, but that's not really what they're about when they're in power, is it? Uh, what's really beautiful about that is AOC's response to that guy basically was, you're being rude so I don't have to respond to you. Uh, this is the same AOC who repeatedly has done what Maxine Waters has done and many other progressives, which is you get up in their face and you show up at their events and you don't give them any quarter and all of those things. So AOC, you have opened up a Pandora's box, baby, and it's on you now, so good luck. The inmates are running the asylum and uh, they're going to have you for lunch.